Cheers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, my name's Abby. In today's video, I will be going through all the things to do to reset for 2024. If you can think of anything to do to rejuvenate yourself for the new year, it is in this video. We have our recap on 2023, discussing ins and outs, making a vision board, getting spa treatments, setting goals, focusing on our health and fitness, journaling, deep cleaning our room and our space, going shopping, and self-care and glow up. Pretty much this video is the ultimate 2024 reset. I know some people believe in the fact that you shouldn't wait till the new year to start taking charge your life and I do agree with that but the new year is a fresh start for a whole another timeline and year. I do a lot of things in this video involving taking care of myself and my exterior but I also do a lot of things taking care of my interior because most of the time glow ups come from within and you really get that natural glow from your mindset and how positive you are and in this video we focus on that a lot. New year new me this could also be new year new you so it's time to take charge of your life so without further ado let's just get right into revamping our life for the new year. Okay. So now in this section of the video, we're going to be focusing on 2023. We're going to go back in time because I feel like this video needs a little bit of a reflection. As much as I'd like to leave 2023 in the past, we should talk about it. A lot happened in 2023. I'll tell you that much. My sophomore year, starting from January, I would say I always think of January as a month of bettering myself because in the summer, I feel like I kind of go hard. And then in the winter is like my time to reflect, just focus on myself. I don't know if this is for everybody, but sophomore year was definitely not a year that I would like to look back on in high school. I feel like for everybody, it's either sophomore or junior year. It's one or the other. I think my junior year is going really good so far, but we're going to get into that. I feel like all of these months, like January, February, March, weren't horrible. I mean, school-wise, yes, because school in January through March is literally the worst time during school and we're about to go through it right now. They also were months of discovery, discovering more about myself and about the people I would like to have around me in my life. But like everything, I had a lot of ups and downs. I had my positive moments. I had my negative moments. Everybody has them. But let's just say I went through probably the most depressing time I've ever been through in my life so far. I am in a much better place now and I'm so grateful for the place that I'm in. And I'm so grateful for everything that happened because even though it sucked in the moment, everything happens for a reason. That is the phrase that I will use for 2023. Everything happens for a reason. I hated being in the happening but now that i'm out of it i know more and i've grown as a person yeah september i honestly was so scared to go back to school let me just tell you this if you are scared to do something or scared to go back to something just know it's not going to be as hard as it was or it might not be as hard as you think because i went back to school immediately clicked in with new people found my friends found my people i feel like when you're in the good moments you don't realize how good it is until you're in the bad moments while you're in the good moments you should appreciate the good moments more because it does get better i think that going back to school and realizing it's not as hard as I anticipated it to be really gave me a new perspective. With all that being said, 2023, you were good, you were bad, you were amazing, you were horrible, all of the above. I'm gonna leave that in 2023 because 2024 is the year of me. We'll get into all of that. Okay, back to you, Abby. Okay. <coughs> Moving on to journaling. I think journaling is such an important thing for everyone to do because you can just put your thoughts on paper and it also helps you envision things. Most of the time while I'm journaling or writing stuff down, it helps me connect dots. Just take a few minutes out of your day to journal, whether it's before bed, in the morning, during the day, anything, especially when it's the new year and you want to make this year good. So I have a couple journals here that I'm going to show you. So first, this is my manifesting journal. Everything I write in this journal comes true or will come true or has come true. So. I'm actually gonna look up a few journal prompts on Pinterest and see what I can find. I kinda like this one, it's plan your new era. I kinda wanna do this. I'll put the picture here. This is what the prompts are if you would like to copy them. Just to give you a little insight about what I'm writing about, the first question is, what does she look like? And I answered, she looks like a person that people are intrigued by. She looks healthy and fit. She's beautiful inside and out and has the best style and clothes and looks kind. The next question is, how does she dress on a typical day? I said, she dresses confidently. She doesn't need others' opinion to know her outfit is awesome. So I did just spend like a while doing that kind of. One, two, three, four, 
five pages. But I actually really enjoyed doing that. Reading it all back makes me envision my higher self and makes it feel more realistic. Like this girl is killing it and this will be me one day. It's crazy, it's crazy. Next, we're moving on to my gratitude journal. What I am grateful for, three amazing things that happened today and daily affirmations. And then at night, three amazing things that happened today and what could have made today better. However, I do not write in the part that says what could make today better because I think that puts a negative light on your day and I don't like the idea of that. I'm not gonna do it right now though because it's like not the right time to do it. That is all for the journaling section. Do it, journal. Everybody go buy a journal right now if you don't have one already or pick up your journal and go write in it, okay? Okay. Okay, it is time for me to start getting ready for my yoga class. It is currently 9.20. I'm ready to sweat and I'm ready to work out. This hot yoga class is actually so hard, so I'm excited. This year I wanna start incorporating more yoga into my routine. I did it a lot last year and a little bit the year before, but this year I really wanna get into it. So let's start out with getting changed. I am ready. So I'm wearing these Lulu joggers and this top from Athleta. And then I got my yoga mat and my water, my phone. I should probably put a jacket on though because I do have to walk there. I'll see you there. I'll try to film and if I can't, then I'm sorry. I just got done my yoga class and I am sweating like a pig. But it's really nice because it's really cold out. So it's like a nice refreshing thing. I forgot my water. So that was the death of me. I literally thought I was gonna pass out and die. But I'll talk more about it when I get home. I sweat it all out. I feel so clean and cleansed and rejuvenated right now. A goal I have for 2024 is working on getting a yoga certification. I especially love hot yoga because I love just sweating it all out and talking about mindset and stuff like that because it just leaves me feeling cleansed and rejuvenated. Now still focusing on the health aspect of this video. We are going to be making a protein smoothie. Never mind, we don't have coconut milk. I'll be back when we do. Okay, now I take my greens because that's something that I actually can do right now. This is what they look like, very pretty. I try to eat them every morning. Alrighty now everybody, it's time to make some goals. This is something that is so important every year. If you're gonna pick one thing out of this entire video to do, it's this. Making goals for New Year is literally such an essential and if you don't do it, you're weird. That's all I gotta say about that. Figure out whatever goals you want, figure out where your dreams are and figure out the steps you need to take to get there. Okay, I don't want to go into the specifics of my goals because I want to keep them to myself. But don't think that you have to go little with this. Your goals are your goals. You don't have to show anybody else these. They can stay to yourself. And that's why I dream big with my goals. You want to reach for the highest you can. Reach for the stars because you will make your dreams come true. And now with that being said, we are going to channel the goals into a new vision board for 2024. When it comes to vision boarding, I love this because you can get as creative as you want. So go crazy, go wild with it. I started off by going on Pinterest and finding all the aesthetic pictures that I love and then making the vision board. I'm about to go leave and get a massage right now and I'm so excited. I've never actually gotten a massage before, like a professional massage. So I'm really excited. I also have to say that I'm Megan. I don't know if this is illegal or something, but is this illegal to post? I don't know, but I'm actually committing fraud right now, I guess. Don't sue me because you can't be under 18 to get a massage and I got a massage gift card So I'm pretending to be Megan. Okay, so I'll see you when I get there I actually feel like a whole new person and like I'm ready to take on the world so I just feel so calm and collected and it did not feel like an hour, like that felt like 10 minutes, but it was a full hour. No I'm tired. That was amazing. All I gotta say, go get a massage. Galloping, galloping. Guys, we're gonna actually hit the car. <laughs> now we're at Target. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can't run away from me. I'm just chasing after you with a camera now. <laughs> I'm not filming that anymore. I want to get a baby in so I can put her snow boot. Yeah. You used to hate the snow. I did? You hated the snow. I love the snow, I feel like. No, it wasn't on yet. Okay, now it's on. Hello, everybody. Hello. I really hope you guys wish you could see Emily right now. She looks so funny. I'm doing it. Those ones. Oh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Waffles. Oh, wa these are waffles. And crustables. And crustables. You like peanut butter and jelly? Like a snow <laughs> That was disgusting. I like looking at the mini things. Same. Should I try it? Sure. 
Yeah, she'll come try it again. Okay, thank you. No problem. Uncrustable. Oh, Uncrustable. Yeah. Oh, cheers. I don't really like jelly, so I'm just having a bite and seeing if I like it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I want one. Should we sit on a beach no. right again? The best thing I've ever had in my life. This video is about New Year, and I was like, I'm gonna eat healthy. <laughs> the first thing is to be eating Uncrustable. You get peanut butter, a lot of flavor. jelly, and bread. My room is an absolute disaster right now. And honestly, I just let things kind of pile up a little bit because I was like, okay, I'm gonna do like a whole cleaning section of the video. If you know me, you know I cannot sleep in a messy room. And this is literally making me wanna throw up. I just can't like, ooh. And I also wanna declutter my closet, drawers and everything, which will be in a separate video. So let me know if you guys would like that. It's time to get crack lacking because this is disgusting. <laughs> I think the easiest plan of attack is to start with the bed. Putting on some jams right now. are done. Eight, eight, eight. I like to pretend I'm in a musical or a movie when I am cleaning my room because what else would I do? <laughs> Luckily I don't have a laundry basket to do so that makes me a little bit happier. Okay, these flowers are actually disgusting, but me and Emily are gonna go shopping to get new ones because first of all, they smell like squash. Second of all, they're disgusting and dead, so. Okay, now time for the hardest part. Oh my god, this is gonna literally be the death of me. Let's clean this bad boy out, shall we? This curler, ribbon, these random bags. Perfume that I've had since seventh grade, am I ever gonna wear it again? Oh, it actually smells really good. Throw out. Done, all organized, got my hair products, bags, books. Room is done, ready for the reveal. Only took me like a million hours. So I went through everything. So clean, so clean. Whatever, I did that, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so this is the before. We have to put fake flowers here because we honestly can't take care of real ones. I want to put like rocks or something down here so you can't see the fact that they're fake. Yeah, this is the little bookshelf. I think that my New Year's resolution was to turn into a grandma. Me with my matching sets and my crochet. No, but in all seriousness, I wanted to start a new hobby for this year. I've never crocheted before. <sighs> I've never crocheted before, but I think now's the time to learn. So I want to start off and make flowers. That's why I got green and pink and wire. Let's look up some tutorials. Okay, you just like pull it out like that, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to build this. I don't know what an SLST is, what? I'm so confused right now. Wait, something's not right. Ah! I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm so confused. What? What? I, I don't understand. What? Okay, so then she let go. Fuck 
off this shit. I'm done. Guys, I'm making progress. Can you see? I don't know what this is or what's happening, but I would just want to be professional. They created a little loop and you've got a hole in the middle. Alright guys, that was my first day of crocheting. I'll learn one day though. I'm just gonna keep trying. Don't give up whatever you're doing, whatever your hobby is gonna be this year. By the summer, I'll be able to make some summer tops. So don't even worry about it. So in this portion of the video, we'll be focusing on the glow up section. I'm just gonna like do all the things that I do to make me feel a little bit cleaner and better, you know, for an outside glow up. First, let's peel these bad boys off. Nice. Uh, I've seen it all over TikTok, the whole like dumping your face in ice thing. So maybe it'll clear my skin out, make me have that glow. Wait, I'm red. I kind of feel good. I actually like it. Now that the sauna is all heated up and ready, we're going to hop in there and yeah, I'll update you guys when I'm out. So now that I am all out of the shower, I'm just gonna be like lotioning, oiling up, doing all the self-care things for my body, and then I'll be back. Skincare is something that I'm obsessed with because it's just my me time. It's just so nice and calming. I also just got this like five dollar perfume from Target when I went shopping. It smells so yummy, and I love to. Oh no! I love trying out new products. Is what I was gonna say. I've been using the Grande Lash for about four weeks now, maybe. And I definitely noticed the difference. My eyelashes have gotten so much longer. I took all my jewelry off because I thought I was going to self tan. But I decided that I don't want to do that. <laughs> to transfer over to my mom's bathroom to do my hair. Oh, I also put this stuff in my hair before I got in the shower. It's the rice water and rosemary spray. And you just like spray it in your roots and scrub a dub dub with this. <laughs> Go back to my room. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this quick tan, self tan on my face and like my chest. This is the type of tan that you can like put makeup over, you don't have to wash it off. I think I'm gonna just speed through my makeup and put on some music. Something that's really important to keep a positive attitude and mindset is listening to good high vibe music, not sad music. Like, look at me right now. I am having the best time of my life listening to good throwbacks right now. Oh, also, first snow of the year or of the entire winter season, it's snowing right now. So that's exciting. It's a sign. Don't know what the sign is, but it's a sign that positive happiness, all those, yep. that is the glow up i am done i feel so refreshed and ready to conquer 2024 i feel like i didn't do anything crazy different but right now i'm feeling very put together and pretty and it's just a good way to start off the year even if it's what i've kind of been doing okay 
Hold on. This is also my current outfit. I am wearing this sweatshirt. It has an open back. And then these pants, which I love. They're from War Girls. Okay. Okay, everyone, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you got some inspiration for 2024, and I really hope you take charge and make this year the best you can. Personally, I feel so rejuvenated, so ready for the new year, so excited to conquer this year, and I have never felt so good about a year before, honestly, and I hope you guys have an amazing year as well. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Peace out, Girl Scouts.